On this week's weekly video fishing forecast, I have a report from one of our Long Island streams being stocked. Fisherman senior editor Fred Galafaro has some reports from around the island. Plus, more correspondents are checking in, all here at thenewfisherman.com. The Fishing News is sponsored by these fine partners. Just a reminder, if you want to get to a specific reporting area quickly, click on Show More on YouTube to see a complete index of the broadcast. This week's digital edition is out on thefisherman.com. We have great articles for whatever you might be interested in, from surf to boat and freshwater. And be sure to check out my Blackfish Burger recipe as well, all in the current digital issue. Now let's check in with News 12 meteorologist Rich Von Owen for the weekend weather outlook. All right, thanks, Matt. Hey, let's check the weekend forecast, see what we got going on across uh, the island. And it looks like it's going to be a decent weekend overall. Start out with some water temps here on the weather maps and still some mid to upper 40s starting to get there slowly but surely as we go throughout the spring season. Uh, wave heights looks good on Saturday. Uh, general 1 to 2, 2 to 4 right by the shore, a little 48 offshore, but uh, light breeze. Saturday looks pretty good. I think you'll enjoy the day. Cloudy, but not bad. The rain should hold off. It's Sunday when it starts to get a little lumpier. We get some 4 to 8s coming on back uh, with more of a, a heavier breeze coming in and some rain, too. So Saturday, light breeze, south-southwest. Looks okay most of the day. We should be in good shape. And then we start to get the winds to kick up a little bit on Sunday with a uh, better chance of rain. See all the green on there? We go south to southwest to northeast. Uh, the wind's all over the place on Sunday, so a little more wave action there. High tides uh, for the weekend, uh, new moon this weekend, north shore late morning, south shore early morning. We'll do about 60 or so on Saturday, also on Sunday, so overall, it doesn't look too bad. Let's check the guru quickly, see what we got going on. There's your Saturday. Again, lighter breeze, not too bad. Wind's really not that bad there. The sea should be okay. And there's your Sunday, you know, south breeze, a little variable, then east, northeast, all over the place on Sunday, so it will likely be a little bit lumpier. So my pick of the weekend is Saturday. Overall, it's not bad for fishing. Should be pretty good. Get out there, enjoy it. Be safe as always. Matt, back to you. I happened to come across the DEC stocking one of Long Island's rivers and captured it on film to show you guys how it's done if you're unfamiliar with the process. This particular body of water received 150 two-year-old brown trout. As you can tell, these are some pretty sizable fish and are plenty of fun to catch on the proper tackle. More stockings are expected to come throughout the month. Remember that trout stockings are a great way to get kids into fishing. Also, before I left, I also interviewed Francis McParkland of the DEC who had this to say. So today we're doing our Eastern Suffolk and Central Suffolk trout stocking. Uh, this is part of a pretty much eight week uh, stocking effort. So we're stock start stocking beginning of March, mid-March, and now we've stopped till May. Uh, today we just, we did the Carmen's River, we're going to Kaler's Pond, West Pond, uh, as well as Upper Lake in the Apeg. Uh, and what went in today is some two-year-old brown trout and some yearling rainbows. Uh, the two-year-old browns are raised in Caledonia Fish Hatchery, and then the yearlings are raised in Van Bornsville. Uh, so this is just all for uh, to give more anglers opportunities on Long Island and throughout New York State. Uh, and that's the whole reason we do the trout stocking uh, process. This is the last week of the Marine Mate Spring Open House Sale. So it's your last chance to get the lowest price on bottom paint and boat supplies for the season. Every $30 you spend gets you in the daily and grand prize raffle. Don't miss out. Hey Matt, really loving the weather this week. and. Uh, you know, the fishing scene starting to build slowly. Uh, we've got flounder and black fishing season now. Uh, striped bass are showing up in a lot of areas and uh, there's been some offshore wreck action. As far as the blackfish go, there's not a whole lot to talk about. Uh, Captain Dave, uh, out of the Sheepshead Bay, Captain Dave, he picked a few tog on the weekend and he is sailing daily uh, Monday through Friday for tog and doing special marathon trips on the weekend. Um, the only other blackfish, confirmed blackfish we heard of, came from uh, Rye Beach up in the Western Sound. Other than that, it's been quiet. The water temperatures are in the 40s, and generally 50 degrees is a magic number for the tog to turn on. Uh, as far as flounder go, uh, no specific reports yet, but Shinnecock and Quo Canals, you know, they're always a good early season bet. And with the warm weather we've had this week, the mild temperatures, the bay waters should be warming up. And Scott over at East End Bait and Tackle in Hampton Bays does have flounder bait. He's ready to go, so if you want to give that fishing out there a try, 
go see Scott. Uh, Joey and Cheryl Kalo, they sent uh, a couple of photos of a few nice flounder they caught in Jamaica Bay on the weekend. Uh, they had them up to 17 inches, caught them on the end of the outgoing tide, and all caught on mussels. Uh, there were some other flounder reports. Uh, we know uh, Bernie from Bernie's, uh, Frank from Bernie's Bait and Tackle in Sheepshead Bay. Uh, he said uh, a couple of guys have had flounder in Silver Hole and also uh, off the seawall along Rockaway Beach Channel Drive. Uh, Mike from Fishing East Coast, he had flounder reports from Little Neck Bay inside the bay. And Pat from Island Bait and Tackle uh, said there's been actually some pretty decent flounder fishing in the Orchard Beach Lagoon on worms. So there are some flounder around. Um, looks like mostly the west end of the island, but as the water's warm, there should be a few fish showing up in the bays and the south shore and some of the harbors like Cold Spring has been producing some fish the past few years. Uh, striped bass, uh, season opens next Thursday, April 15th, until then it's still catch and release. But the action in Raritan Bay is in full swing with some quality fish along with smaller fish and some schoolies. Um, some, small, uh, some school fish did show up in the South Shore Bays this week. I got a few reports uh, from those bay, from Great South Bay and to some of the Western Bays and also out on the east end, uh, some of the Peconic Bay tidal creeks uh, producing fish. And uh, the Montauk Surf had a few fish too. Ditch Plains in Montauk is traditionally an early season spot and that usually gets going in early April and that's the case this year. There's been some fish there. Um, Blaze over at Duffy's, uh, looking at the North Shore, uh, he knew of slot size, uh, fish to slot size coming out of Little Neck Bay the last few days, nights. Uh, schoolies in Hempstead Harbor and Manhasset Bay, uh, that's on plugs at night. And uh, there's been some reports of small bass activity in Oyster Bay and Huntington, nothing east of that, but that fishing should spread as, uh, as the weather warms and the water's warm. Uh, on the offshore wrecks, uh, the mix of porgies, ling, some cod, pollock, uh, and of course out of season sea bass, that doesn't get going until June. Uh, both the Laura Lee and the Superhawk, they've been uh, making the offshore wreck runs and uh, they'll both be sailing this weekend. So if you want to get in to put some eating fish away, uh, those are trips to make. And all in all, things are shaping up. We're getting there. Matt, back to you. Now let's check in with Captain Timothy O'Rourke from Montauk. Tim? Thank you, Matt. Well, greetings here from Montauk. As you can see, I'm down working on the boat, trying to get everything ready. We've had a nice little blast of warm weather. Um, there's not too much to report. Blackfish is now open. Um, there hasn't been a whole lot of fishing out here. Everybody's starting to get their boats ready. One good thing is um, we have a huge influx of bait, gannets, whales, all on the south side of Montauk. Um, it's starting to look like all the bait's starting to move in. If this warm weather keeps up, we should be seeing striped bass out here within a week or so. Um, the Viking fleet is leaving tonight. Tonight is Wednesday. This report will be on Thursday for an offshore tile and cod trip and then they are also doing uh, cod for the weekend so if you're interested in getting out and doing some fishing you could look on their website and make a reservation i just got back from a trip a uh, nice week-long trip down in the tropics taking advantage of the fact that we're able to start traveling again uh, did some tarpon fishing down in antigua with antigua fly fishing guides other than that, it's just a couple more weeks before we really start fishing. I'm gonna be doing some demo days. Uh, that schedule is gonna be coming up very shortly. So everybody get ready, fasten your seatbelt and get ready for a great season. With all the concentration of bait we're starting to see, it's gonna be a very good year. From Shinnecock, let's check in with Mike Dean with all the news from the East End. Thanks, Matt. Hey, everyone, hope the off season uh, treated you well. You're able to keep your sanity. There is some uh, okay fishing going on for this early in the spring in the bays in between Shinnecock and Mariches. I've been a little closer to Mariches. I've noticed a decent amount of adult sized bunker in the bays, mostly at sunset. Uh, you know, have heard a few reports of throughout the day where people are seeing pods, nothing really working them. There are some fish around. A uh, 30 inch striper was taken down in, uh, was caught rather, um, down in West Hampton a couple of nights ago. 
a few more at, at, at night, some of the holdovers as well, getting a little active, uh, just a matter of time. I mean, everything's coming together. The Osprey's around, the bait's here. So it's definitely that time. Soft plastics, light tackle, have fun, and get ready for an awesome season ahead. Talk to you soon. Back to you, Matt. Thanks. From the Fire Island area in Great South Bay, let's check in with Captain Al Lorenzetti. Hi, Matt. Fire Island report, uh, first striped bass. I spotted finning on the surface Easter Sunday morning. I was crossing the bay, saw a little movement in the water and uh, got over there, snuck up on it, and it was like a two foot long striped bass, looking very healthy. And so we now have confirmed striped bass that are in the back bay areas. Uh, also still the cap tree boats, patty and charters, they're running to wrecks offshore and doing pretty well with cod, ling, and occasional pollock. So, uh, there's a few options here as the water warms up a little bit more. I think we're going to start to see the first of the bluefish come in the back bay. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's about it for this week. Uh, take care, Matt, and have fun. Catch them up. From Northport, we have Mark McGowan from Cal Harbor Bait and Tackle. You know, this week has just been so magical. Whether it's fishing for trout, chasing striped bass, um, trying to catch some herring, although the herring is slow, it's more about the trout and the striped bass right now. It's just been beautiful days in between these chilly evenings and it's creating a wonderful bite. Some people, you know, you get a little cold at times, but me, I'm wearing my t-shirt today. It's a wonderful sunny day. It's getting nothing but closer and closer into these spring uh, days. We're getting warmer and warmer. Magical things are gonna happen. Also, big shout out to my son, Phil. You all know him from the shop. He's gonna be a dad this week with his beautiful, lovely lady, Emily. And we wish them all the best to see this uh, wonderful baby. And to everyone else, I bid you peace and tight lines. Well, hello, Matt. Well, I'm here up in Westchester. I couldn't waste, the, waste this day. It's 70 degrees, it's beautiful. I wanted to really get out there and catch fish. Today I'm, I'm really practicing my casting is what, is it, what it came out to. Uh, it's still water, still cold. Um, I, it's still early in the season, but I'm having a great day. It's always great to be out on the water. As far as uh, Long Island, Heidi and her crew did a fabulous job. They stocked all the mill ponds, all the kettle ponds. Uh, feel free to fish them. They're, they're, like I said, they, they're going to be great probably right into the beginning of June before it really gets too hot for them. And then, uh, then of course, switch over to bass. The season for bass will be closing soon. Pickerel will be closing soon. Uh, keep in mind that uh, they're going to be uh, on their beds. You don't want to really target them. But uh, to, to the first Saturday of June, uh, you know, go for bluegills. As far as saltwater goes, I haven't heard too much in the, there's some in the western part of the island, but not a lot. Right now, we're really into uh, just the beginning of the season. Uh, with this warm weather, we should be great. Now, if you want to get into fly fishing, well, it's, I, I'm doing a Zoom class this Thursday. I'm doing a Zoom class this Thursday. It's called Getting Into Fly Fishing. It's great for beginners. It's great to learn all the things. It's not as hard or expensive as you think. Uh, just go to my website, riverbayoutfitters.com, and check out for the meeting ID number. Until next week, tight lines, everybody. Let's check in with Chris Ludwig, who's always doing something outside the box. Hey, thanks, Matt. What's going on, guys? So this last week, it looks like a couple guys got a few nice bass in the bunker pods outside. Looks like they were trolling mojos and probably between the Jones to Deb's Inlet area, possibly farther. I'm not sure. But that's a good sign to see those big, excuse me, big fish outside. As for myself, I've still been fishing around those bunker pods and I haven't gotten bit yet, but there's been more and more bait in the backwater as every night goes on. So I'm anticipating any day now that we're going to get a nice fish, a blue fish, something. So I'm going to get back out there. Hope you guys are enjoying yourselves and take care. Captain Mike Century has a way to some Staten Island. Thanks, Matt, Tim, and Fred. Hope all is well, guys. Look, past few days has been nothing but phenomenal in the Raritan Bay. Had great anglers from Long Island and Pennsylvania on board anglers of Legend Sportfish. Thomas, Pat, George, and Justin had a great time. A couple of days later, had Matt with his son Hunter and Bill with his son Dylan. A bunch of striped bass were caught and an awesome time was had, spent joking around in between the rods bending. 
Most of the bats were caught on a soft plastic called the Gambler, pink and white, believed to be six, uh, six inches and around two ounces of weight. The casting modules were from Hardfin Offshore Tackle. So give them, a, give them a quick glance if you need some tackle. Well, folks, I look forward to having many of you on board. Anglers of Legend Sportfish, as the season kicks up, we'd love to have you. So give me a call, text me, and we'd love to make some memories. Back to you, Matt. Raul Ortiz, the urban angler, is back with his first report of 2021. He fished the shore of Staten Island on Monday morning and hit the incoming tide at his favorite location close to Great Kills. He caught most of his fish on chunks and some lures, releasing fish 220 pounds. Nice job, Raul. Steigercraft boats, built by people who fish our waters. Serious anglers choose Steigercraft for their 40 years of boat building experience right here in the Northeast and Mid-Atlantic. Visit Steigercraft.com for a dealer near you. If you would like to be a part of our weekly video fishing forecast, we are looking for social media savvy anglers for hyperlocal reporting from around the NY metro and Long Island area. So if you're a captain, tackle shopper, or just an avid angler, contact us at libayrat at gmail.com. Remember to like our video, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and tap on the bell to be notified instantly when we post a new video on YouTube. And of course, be a subscriber to the Fisherman Magazine to be a part of the Dreamboat and Coastal Kayak Clash Contest. Check out this video's description on YouTube for all the related links and information. And please support our correspondents by visiting their websites and social media pages. See you right here next Thursday at theallnewfisherman.com.